Okay, today I want to talk to you about the fees that you should never pay at a dealership. And let's face it, when you go into a dealership, they got fees, 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 and more fees. It's like these people just spend their evenings inventing new fees, okay? But here are five fees that you should never pay. Let's say you're at a dealership and you're looking at a pre-owned car, okay? And, and the advertised price was $30,000 and you go in and, and you're sitting down and you're talking to the sales rep about the car and he goes, yep, the car's $30,000 um, and there'll be a reconditioning fee of $1,995. That's a fee you should never pay. That is a cost to the dealership. They purchased the car or traded the car. They did the reconditioning on the car. They know what they paid for the reconditioning, and that is figured into the price of the car that they've listed it for. It is not a separate line item ever ever on a used car. And if they insist that it is, you're at the wrong dealership. You never do business with somebody that's going to charge you a reconditioning fee for the vehicles that they've got placed on their lot. So big X on reconditioning fee. Advertising fee. Oh, well, you, well, we have to pay to advertise to, you know, so that you know what cars we have. That's your expense at the dealership. It's not the customer's expense. The customer is never expected to pay the cost of them being there. Okay. That would be like, well, let me just walk in the door and hand you a hundred bucks because you let me in the dealership. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Never, never pay an advertising fee. Additional destination fee. Come on. Okay. If you bought the car at the auction, you knew what the cost of transporting that vehicle back to your dealership is. That's factored into the selling price, along with all the reconditioning and the advertising. So you're never expected to pay an additional destination fee on a pre-owned car or even on a new car. And the only time you might pay an additional destination fee on a new car is if a dealer has to do a dealer trade with another dealer uh, several states away. And there is an additional cost that nobody anticipated because it's a dealer trade. And so the dealership might ask you to pay that, but never, ever, ever on an in-stock unit or a pre-owned car. So, so much for the destination fee. Say bye-bye, destination fee. Be like Mark and start saving hundreds of dollars on your maintenance and repairs, or like Rich, who saved thousands annually on his insurance. Simply join YAA+, Plus, the only membership that saves you money on all things auto. Head to joinyaa.com slash plans and use the code YouTube to save 20%. Dealer add-ons. We all know dealers love to add things to their cars. Window etch, low jack, paint and leather sealant, ceramic paint and leather sealant, window tint. God knows the list can go on and on and on. Okay. You shouldn't have to pay for dealer add-ons that you didn't ask for. Now, they're going to say, well, we've already put them on the car. Oh, I get it. I get it. I didn't want them. I didn't ask you to put them on the car. You decided to put them on the car. At the very least, either if you can't take the price off, if you can't reduce the price by the cost of those add-ons, I won't pay you more than what your internal cost was. So if the add-ons total around $2,000 and the internal cost that the service department and the parts department charged the, the sales department is $500, then agree to pay the $500 for the stuff that you didn't ask for, not the $2,000. So Okay, dealer add-ons, they happen, but you should be able to negotiate those down. Market adjustments, market adjustments, something you haven't seen in a long, long time, and they reared their ugly head again for the last 18 to 24 months. Uh, when supply is low and demand is high, dealers can mark up their vehicles all they want, and they ask for market price adjustments. Well, guess what? The shoe's on the other foot these days, okay? Inventories are growing. Prices are coming down. Demand has softened. Market adjustments. Fight them. Fight them with every fiber of your body. There's no reason to be paying them today unless it's a real specialized enthusiast car. But if it's just a regular mass market vehicle, I'm talking about you, Telluride. There's no reason to be paying a market adjustment today. 
Cross that off the list. These are the fees that you should never be paying a dealer in today's market. Never. Okay? Remember, reconditioning fee, advertising fee, additional destination fee, dealer add-ons, and market adjustments. Avoid those like the plague. Thanks for watching.